What up everybody, Sven Diesel here. We're gonna be tying up a dust chain. Uh, this is a pattern that's uh, gonna be for carp, um, but uh, I went ahead and already started. Um, did a bunch of these, put the eyes on with a little bit of glue. And so we'll go ahead and start the thread behind our barbell eyes. Uh, this is the weighted version. You can also tie it without the barbell in a non-weighted version. All the steps are the same. We're going to be using um, a bunch of ostrich, um, different uh, colors for the tail, uh, between 10 and 15 um, uh, fibers. And I'm going to start with, uh, you know, different color combination, you know, alternating between a bright and a dark. And I'm going to go ahead and throw those on what will be the bottom. I like the barred um, feather for the for the bottom you can also take a sharpie and just you know mark it up as well and then when I when I flip the hook I want to kind of divide the fibers on each side and uh, that way it uh, gives a nice even on each side you can tie you know two or three on one side rotate it two or three on the other but I just kind of divide it using the hook and I'll go ahead and put uh, some securing wraps there and uh, rotate it back over we're going to add about you know double that and the tail usually I, I, it's not quite the you know double the length of the shank but it's 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 a uh, it's a nice tail these uh, fibers are going to flow and uh, you know give lots of movement and um, we're going to um, you know maybe it's more like 20 I don't really count I just kind of go with what looks good uh, you don't want too many fibers because then it will, um, you know, not move. It will just kind of be a solid, uh, solid tail. But uh, before I do my last group, I'm going to put a little bit of Z cement on, just to have it. You know, it's a really thick coat. I'm going to lather it um, so that it soaks all through those fibers, kind of securing everything together to the thread, to the hook shank. Um, and I'll do my last, my favorite, another bard up on top. And this is what, uh, if a fish is down below, we'll be seeing, hopefully. Um, and let's uh, go ahead and clean this up and do some nice tight securing wraps now. Um, the Z cement should still be wet at this point, so this thread's kind of really tightening it all up into each other. And this is where the dub brush comes in handy. Um, I did a video on these, you can um, check it out. Um, but uh, I really like these EP fibers and the dub brush. You're going to see how fast this goes. I'm just going to tie it in, uh, stroking the fibers back. I'm going to do one wrap, a full wrap, making sure to avoid snagging fibers on that hook uh, point. And then since I used a stainless uh, wire center, I'm going to push down and it's going to stay. And I'm going to go ahead and tie in some rear uh, legs. These are the centipede legs. Um, and I kind of just V it on top. Um, and remembering that this is going to ride with the barbells down. And so these uh, legs are kind of fan up. I'm going to make sure they're sticking out at this point. But, uh, you know, once it gets wet, they're all going to kind of flow together. Um, these back ones might not be seen, but uh, we've got them kind of going at a down angle. And now I'll go ahead and put a little bit more cement just to keep those um, in place and secured. And um, then I'll continue to wrap. I've got the thread also right behind the barbells. That's important for the next step. One, two, maybe three max wraps, depending on how thick your dub brush is. Mine's a little thicker than I like on this one. I had my kids helping me do some of these, and they like to lay it on nice and thick. So I only did two full wraps, and I'm going to tie in some more rubber legs right behind the, the barbells here, and just kind of figure eight them a little bit, um, making sure they're still kind of sticking perpendicular to the uh, hook shank. Um, but uh, that they, uh, you know, kind of go down, and then I'll work my way up to the eye of the hook. And uh, we'll go ahead and wrap once and kind of cross over the eye, um, kind of a half of a, um, when you're figure eighting it, to secure that on. 
And then this is where it gets really important. Fibers back, and then I'll kind of do a wrap and then push that brush back towards those uh, barbells. And this is why I, I prepped a bunch of them so that those barbells are nice and secured. I figure eighted them. I used some Z cement, and I'm going to do one or two, uh, well, I guess two or three wraps in front of the barbells, and then I'm going to secure it right on the eye. And um, depending on how thick your dub brush is, depends on this will really help if you've got a thinner brush. It will help to clean up. Make sure you use flush cutters. The, those are some uh, snap-on ones I bought from a tool guy. Um, they've been really well for cutting all my brushes and all my wire, and they're also warranted. So if I ever ding them up or anything, or they're not sharp, I just get a new pair. But uh, we're going to clean up the nose of this. Uh, it's kind of similar to a Clouser um, nose. Uh, I don't like it normally being this big, but because this brush is a little bit thicker, um, that's the look we're going to end up with. So let's whip finish it. We're going to be putting a ton of cement on this, so um, I'll just do a single whip finish. And now, just uh, we're almost there. Let's brush it out a little bit, um, making sure to kind of get those back fibers out. Um, then, uh, as you pull it up, you can see how long this dub brush isn't quite. I'm going to trim it up. I'm kind of trimming it at a at a quarter circle so that. Um, it's shorter in the front, but those longer fibers will go back into the tail. I'm going to do the same on the bottom, but on the bottom I'm going to go a little bit shorter than on the on the on the top. And I understand that you know it's going to ride um, with the barbells down, but um, I always get it confused on what's down and what's up. Down for me is the way I was tying it when the vise wasn't upside down. So same process, uh, trim it at a, at a circle so that. And then as I pull these fibers back, I kind of divide them around the point of the hook um, just to give it a good little even distribution and profile. And, and now comes the uh, UV resin because these fibers, we're using a dub brush, they're kind of everywhere. I want to make sure that those eyes are visible. And so I kind of pull those fibers together between the eyes and uh, I don't pull it tight. It's a little bit loose. And I'm going to put some Loon Flow, quite a bit, um, 17 and a half drops. And as I do that, I put a one or two on the thread, and then I'm going to cure it for 10 to 15 seconds. There we go. Now rotate it back to um, the, uh, uh, we're going to do the same to the top, or what will be the bottom. And uh, I'm going to do the same thing I uh, did before, pull the fibers between the eyes, and I kind of push it back so there's a little bit of a hump. And I'm putting the same, uh, but on the top I like to do 18 and a half drops of the uh, flow and cure it for 10 to uh, 15 seconds. And uh, it's uh, really turned out nice. Look at this. Um, just the, the flowiness of it, the dirtiness of it. Um, you know, um, this is not only for carp, but uh, I'm going to try uh, this for trout as well. Um, as mentioned, you can tie it. These, oh, well, look at these fibers. These are a little long on the, I must have missed these. So when I'm examining, um, I'm going to pull these fibers out to the side and make sure you do not cut those legs. So I'm just going to kind of do the same thing, trim it in a, a circular quarter circle motion working my way kind of just unevenly but getting those extra long fibers in there that's a lot better yeah I like that now um, so this one's good to go um, gonna catch uh, lots of fish with it um, got a nice tail look at those uh, rubber legs sticking out um, yeah this is gonna be a good fly it's the Shane and I uh, hope you tie a bunch